The hidden blade acquired. Hells yeah. You got any, uh, you got any codex stuff on the hidden blade for me? Oh, we have lots of new entries. Sigurd? Where Sigurd leads, men follow. As Ivor, Eivor's adoptive brother, he is strong, fearless, and charismatic. He could sail through the putrid, poisoned rivers of Helheim and spin it into a tale that would have every warm-blooded Vikinger fighting for a place on his ship. It's also clear to anyone who knew him well that Sigurd was perhaps too inclined to believe his own hype. Basim Ibn Ishak A common first impression of Basim is a mixture of danger and intrigue. Soon thereafter, one might get a sense of someone thinking several moves ahead. In fact, he is likely playing an entirely different game. Basim met Sigurd Sluller on the same day he received a contract for a prominent for a prominent player from the prince's homeland. He knew the gods had favoured him, but he didn't care which. He received a contract for a prominent player from the prince's homeland. So he is contracted to kill someone from around these parts. I hope it's not the king or we're going to have an is issue, Basim. As mysterious and seemingly aloof as the shadowy brotherhood he represents, Basim's ultimate goal is unknown even to his protege, Hytham, who is closer to him than anyone still living. Speaking of, Hytham. When Hytham's world fell apart, the Hidden Ones offered him a purpose. Now he finds himself on an uncertain voyage with his mentor Basim, fulfilling the duties of his creed. He knows he will never match Basim as a Hidden One, but he is... but... but he in certain... I think that's supposed to be is certain. He can be of great use to his brotherhood, if only given the right chance. And the king is king of Raven Clan, last of the petty kings. Don't know what that means, petty kings. Did not rise to power rashly, but through careful planning. Now that very virtue that earned him his crown is being challenged by friend, foe, and family. Feels bad, you hate to see it. Alright, so good. Where are we off to? It has a name? Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. But not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Ah, <laughs> that's the stealth kill I was looking for Some at the start of the game. Are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. Some targets are more resistant and cannot be assassinated if their power is overwhelming. So I guess the red bar is how much health I'll take off this guy. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. Huh? Wait, what? There we go. That was weird. It wasn't letting me get up here. Exactly. Just like that. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. Surprise, fool! Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. That's it. Does anyone intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Why offer him the blade? Surely we have more python. Hush. Hush, little baby, you don't say a word. Well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. I'm gonna go around massacring these dummies Eivor, that magically stand back up. Let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. But these dummies, they, they have magical properties. Look at them. Like, you look away. I, I said you look away. And then they stand back up. There we go. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous. And menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning to. 
They wield numbers and writing, as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Why is the time not right now? Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. Push him in the water. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. What's your dad gonna say about that, lad? Got the feeling the he won't be. Have spoken. You will betray no, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Who's creeping? Kjotvis warriors. Wait, what? How is. How has he managed to get right in our camp? Say so what? Uh, light attack damage. Don't mind if I diddly do. Wait, what? Oh, no. Are you telling me I can't get there from here? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That this does not link to this? Ah, oh, fuck me. So I have to go down there, down there, and up there. You are joking me. God damn it. Well, I guess we're going that way then. Oh, I cannot believe that. So now next level up, I'll only get to there, and then it'll take another one to get to there. Not that it probably matters that much, at least. Eivor and Sigurd bleed Kjotve's lands to draw him into a final fatal showdown. What? We're drawing him into a final fatal showdown right now? Are we not leaving that for the end of the game? We're... Ah, Ubisoft Connect, get into the bin. Ubisoft Connect, level up. Oh my god, I hate it so much with such a passion. Hello, fucko. This one would not have come alone. I should find the others. Uh, what was the, what was the button to scan the area? I thought it was pushing in one of the sticks, but that's not doing anything. Uh, what the fuck was it? It's not the bumpers, because they're attacks. What do you see? This is an encampment, is it? Why is this glowing? I'm not... Oh, there's a dude there. Right. Wait. Oh, I placed multiple markers. I thought it would delete one when I placed another one. Totally doesn't do that.
Can we get the jump on this lad? Oh, you have to hold it. There we go. That was what I was missing, is that I wasn't holding it. I was just pressing it. Stealthily taking down opponents one at a time can be the best course of action. Reveal nearby enemies using only in sight. When in proximity and in a hidden space, attract them using a whistle. We can bring Kyut the news of the longships. Or we can wake him with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head. Which is better? All right. When Yot returns, we weigh our next move. But I am not one for sticking around, hear me? Quit bawling, you babe. They may be drunk, but they're not deaf. But at least we're alive. Is he? Yeah, he's facing away from me. Don't mind me, just having a read of this. Cut these instructions. Tell me what you see and how many. Ships, warriors, supplies. Also note visits from Jarls and other important people. Learn what you can and report back to me directly. Kyot Bay. Sup? Sigurd must know about this. That's a goddam. Oh, hello. There's another over there. Whee! Oh, there's a whole bunch over there. Okay. Target dummies! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious! I thought the target dummies were the fucking. Oh, that is very funny. That is very funny. I really thought the target dummies. What? what? You enjoying the show? <laughs> right, Sigurd. We have an issue, my dude. With each day we wait, Kjotve grow. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. Gods, Eivor, what happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kyotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that whaling village under Kyotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Man, everyone's being such a dick to the king. He seems like a pretty good dude. <laughs> Like he's... Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. He's trying to be diplomatic and stuff, you know? I feel like we've been kind of hasty. I don't know. We were definitely being a dick to the king in that previous cutscene. Right, okay. We're going on an adventure then, eh? To the waves. To the waves. Meow. Let the warriors bring it. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtves end. Afraid. 
I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nokfal from Kurtwe. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Vulkist. Lead us to victory. I will. I will. Away, but you must lead us there. Oh, hey, Ward. I missed having you at my side. How I wish I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevian did not trust fate for both our lives. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. <laughs> Things said immediately before death. Together, we are unstoppable. Are you about to die, Sigurd? Is that what's about to happen here? That was like a huge death flag in my mind. We are unstoppable as we head towards an enemy known for his cruelness. Or, well, I guess he's not here. It's just a town he controls. But still, seemed like a death flag. Hello, friends. We are here to steal all of your shit. Raid! Good start, good start. Hey, it's our bro. It's our bro from another mo. Oh wait, I just realized. Has having this blade this having this blade unequipped my uh unequipped my shield? Hmm. I'm trying to see what I can do with this blade. While holding a torch. Hold LT to aim and RT to throw. Why would I want to do that? Well, that's what the blade is good for. You do a little wind up and then you annihilate their faces. Ow. Uh, that's a got him. Oh shit. How do I roll again? I've forgotten how to roll. I know there was a way to roll. Hang on, hang on. I need to actually find this out. I'm sure there was a way to roll to put out fire. Uh, long ship, progress, weapons. Not going to be down there. I swear there was a way to roll to put out fire. Uh... Oh, hold X to roll. I was double tapping it. That's where I was going wrong. Hello. Honestly, I could do with some more health. Did I just parry him with the blade? I didn't mean to, but I'll certainly take it. God's curse you! God's curse you! Okay. 
Okay, the blade is very satisfying to get a hit off with. Okay, there's a lot of people still. There's a lot of people still. Is there anyone left down that way? There's a dude over there. What is that little symbol? What? Uh, hello? I just wanted to get in the window, honestly. Oh, can I get in up here? Runes, lovely. Get him. Get him. Get him, lads. Are they airships? Oh, that was like a victory thing. Okay, I wasn't sure what was going on there. It was like... I heard ships are coming. I wasn't sure if he said as, but I guess he did. What have we got here? Don't mind if I do... Find a way to enter. Found it. I'm good at this game. Uh, hello? Jump down. There we go. Collect Book of Knowledge. Throwing Axe Fury. You what? Abilities. Abilities are learned through Books of Knowledge. They are powerful fighting moves that can be used during battle at the cost of adrenaline. Some abilities focus on melee, while others provide ranged abilities. Up to eight abilities can be assigned at once. When you find a second book of knowledge with the same ability, that ability is dramatically improved. To find more books of knowledge, explore the world and search for wealth in each territory. Books are often heavily guarded in monasteries or military camps. Interesting. Hurl throwing axes at all enemies in range. I wonder what the range is. Uh, sure. What button do I have to hold down to actually activate this? I'm not sure. <laughs> Plus five ability damage. That could be good. Okay. Using abilities. Here we go. Hold down right trigger to prepare melee abilities. Okie doke. Gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha. I still don't understand how you break these thingies. Are you supposed to arrow them? Ah, okay. Why the fuck can't your axe break those? That seems weird. That wasn't something to collect, was it? No, that was just a candle. Okay, what have we got? Aid me. Be my eyes. We have things somewhat close, but not close enough for me to go get them right now. Also, are there any berries to collect around here? Because, man, you don't have much health in this game. I got hit like twice. And it ruined me. <laughs> but it does not seem as though there are any berries to collect. Raven 
Human clan. You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. Isn't this the dude that was with the king? Face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. Hello. You are Sigurd of the Raven Clan. Is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. In exchange this is for good what? News, Eivor. The wandering king will tip our fortunes. We have a common cause. We don't need your men. What's in it for you? Yeah. Why risk your men to help us, king? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harold. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florli, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Well, that all worked out very nicely, didn't it? That king seems pretty fucking reasonable. Eivor, give us a hand. Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. I'm pretty sure he's wise. He seemed wise, right? He gave off those wise vibes. Seemed like he knew what he was fucking doing. But he also seemed like a good dude. Trustworthy dude. So I'm happy to... Uh, I'm happy to go along with it, even though I'm sure there's something he's not telling me. Because there's got to be more in it for him than just, Oh, I don't like these other people fighting. Got to be more in it for him. But that's fine. So long as we are truly aligned. Hello, Sigurdy Sig Sigurd. New quest, A Cruel Destiny. And Rude Awakening completed. Okay. Database. Lovely. What have we got? New person, Harold. To call Harold ambitious is like saying that Norway is a bit rocky. In a land where petty kingdoms rise and fall with the tides, Harold has the pedigree and army to back up his aspirations for a unified nation. King Harold, called Fair Hair in his later years, was the son of ha Half Dan the Black, so named for his own dark head of hair. Clearly, this was a family that knew style was an intimate cousin of substance. Interesting. Revenge and glory await behind Kjotve the Crawl's fortress gates. We got a level up, did we? Oh good, I guess I'll spend them over here. Oh, I see, I see. It's only the straight lines. I saw these lines going from this to this, but these three have straight lines between them going through the curvy lines, whereas these only have curvy lines. It's a bit... Hard to no notice that starting out, but I do understand now, I guess. Okay, next up. Next up. And actually, looking at that bar, we are very close to actually getting another level. Looking at that diamond. So... Wait, that wasn't... 
We didn't just level up again there, did we? No. Okay, so it was, I think it was still showing me the previous diamond before we'd actually leveled up then. Never mind. Um, okay, what about the map? Uh, is there... Where are we? Uh, we are over here. Should we go synchronize this point? It's a little way away. But uh, I feel like that would be a good way to end off this session. It's been a solid, solid session. We'll leave this raid for another time. Let us go yonder. It's going to be all the way up there, right? How do you feel about getting up here, horsey? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give Whoa, what the fuck? How did I... I genuinely don't know how, what I did to activate photo mode there. Huh. It's pressing in... It's pressing in both thumbsticks at the same time. That's an interesting one. Okay. God damn it, horsey's out of stamina. Am I going in roughly the right direction? Ish. Is it even faster to use the horse when he's out of stamina? I wonder. If I were to dismount and simply do this, I feel like that's just as fast, to be honest, if not faster. Look at our... We're doing the shuffle. We are doing the shuffle right now. Very nice. Very good to see. Okay, when's this synchronization point going to appear on my compass? Oh, synchronization point. Where are you? Just keep on heading pretty much forward. Hey, there it is, there it is. Nice, 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 nice. I guess it comes into range at 400 meters. Come on, you can go faster than that, mate. There we go, now you got the leaps out. Up we go. Love these sheer cliff faces that we can just uh, casually run up. Like, you just die if you fell. You just die, but it's fine. We're all good. This is fine. And before it's like not actually up on this cliff and I have to go down the other side, that would be a bummer. But it's got to be up high, right? One would assume. Oh, the sun rising. Very picturesque. Hey. <laughs> oh, I gotta love the tunes. Oh, I think I've just discovered... <laughs> I think I've just discovered the point. It's that. Hello, little birdies. Hello. 
Hello. Oh, you're flying through the through the ground there, birdies. Wish I had your skills. Oh no, don't even tell me. Are you serious? I'm this close. God damn it. I'm glad I discovered the summit, even as I plunged down to the ground with a new climb ahead of me. God damn it. How long will it take for these clothes to dry off? Let's take a look at the tech. <laughs> I'm actually leaving wet footprints on the rocks. I think he's drying off now, right? It's kind of hard to tell in this shadow, but... Up we go, up we go. Slow and steady wins the race. Making some crazy ass jumps. Up cliff faces with no visible handholds. Incredible work by Eivor. Yeet! Not a moment to rest. We continue on. Desperate to unlock a view. <laughs> Not unlike that one, but full 360 spin and as an added bonus, a fast travel point because Eivor, he's a smart man. He doesn't want to have to, he doesn't want to have to walk around everywhere. He knows he needs to unlock fast travel. Although I'm not sure what good fast travel would be to this point unless there's a good place to jump off of it, but it looks like well, maybe we could jump into that water from the top. Yeah, you know what? We probably could. Oh my god. It is in reach. I'm the king of the world. Just don't let any of the actual kings hear you say that. Yeet. Now that is what I call a synchronize. Damn. So how about that photo mode? I wish I could zoom out further. I'm stuck like around him, unfortunately. Hmm. Cool. Can I leap off into that water there? I guess I could. Do I want to? Or do I want to go after any of these wealth deposits? There's one down there. That one's over there. Eh. Maybe another time. Yeet. Shit. Not quite. Not quite. Surely you can make that somehow. I hope it auto-saved after getting that fucking fast travel point. Surely you can make that jump somehow, otherwise what's the point in fast travelling there if you then have to slowly climb down the thing? Okay, good. Like, am I, in am I insane by thinking that? I really feel like that should be a jump you can make. Hmm, 
It seems like you're forced to hit that rock. Am I am I crazy here? I'm gonna try this one more time. I really feel like there should be, because like in the in the other games, you always had like a haystack at the bottom of a synchronization point or whatever, right? So it feels like water would be the natural. Maybe if you just jump off this way, like forward instead of left. Yeah, that works. That works. I mean, you'd, you'd break your legs in reality, but... You know. <laughs> Hevo, lad. Right, okay. Solid session. Solid session. Let us take a quick look at the map. Yeah, we've unlocked a whole bunch of stuff. We could go and get that, but that's in the territory of, like, holy fuck your high-level stuff. So, let's not. There's one over there that we didn't get. Artifact over there. That's what that is, right? Well, gold is wealth. Blue, like this, is mysteries. But this is an artifact, I think? Hmm. Curious. Most curious. I don't know what artifacts actually entail. But that is where we're going to leave it off for today. Thank you very much for watching. It's having a great time with this. Looking forward to seeing where it goes. If you're enjoying, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thanks for watching. See you then.